Hello everyone, my name is Zhu Longbi and my English name is Tony and today I want to talk to you about the interesting story um, the title is Texting is Killing Language JK We always hear that texting is a scourge The idea is that texting spells the decline and fall of any kind of serious literacy or at least writing ability The fact of the matter is that it just isn't true and it's easy to think that it is true or in order to see in another way, in which case, one thing that we see is that texting is not writing at all. What do I mean by that? Linguists have actually shown that when we are speaking casually in an unmodded way, we tend to speak in word packets of maybe 7 to 10 words. You'll notice this if you have occasion to record yourself or a group of people talking. And that's what speech is like. Speech is much looser, it's much more telegraphic, well, if you can speak like writing, then logically follows that you might want to also sometimes write like you speak. Once you have things in your pocket that can receive the message, then you have the condition that you can write like you speak. And that's where texting comes in. So texting is very loose in your structure. No one thinks about capital letters or punctuation when one text. But then again, do you think about those things when you talk? No, so therefore, why would you when you're texting? What texting is, despite the fact that it involves brute mechanics of something that we call writing, is finger speech. And that's where texting is. And that's where texting is. Um, now we can write the way we talk. And so, the way I'm thinking texting this day is that what we are seeing is a whole new way of writing that young people are developing, which they're using alongside their ordinary writing skills. And that means they're able to do two things. So in closing, if I could go to the future, if I could go to 2033, please show me a sheet of text written by 16-year-old girls. Because I want to know where this language has developed since our time. And I would then ideally send them back to you and me now, and we could examine this linguistic miracle happening right under our noses. Thank you very much. Thank you.